Big surprise by China today as the central bank devalued its currency in an effort to boost exports and stimulate the country's lagging economic growth. Ali Velshi explains why it is such a big deal. Tony, China devalued its currency today by 2% against the dollar. That's the lowest level in three years. It was the biggest one-day depreciation China has seen since 1994, and the move sent shockwaves throughout world markets. Japan's main index fell nearly half a percent. Germany's fell almost 3%. Think about this, industrial manufacturing countries. Here in the United States, the Dow seesawed through the day before tumbling more than 200 points later in the trade session, a loss of greater than 2%. What is spooking the markets? Well, today's devaluation is an open admission by China's authorities that its meteoric economic rise is stalling. Once upon a time, China's GDP grew by 10% or more a year for decades. And that was fueled in part by China's exports to the world. Now GDP is 7% less, uh, still high by any standard, but a slowdown for China nonetheless. Up until now, Chinese authorities said they were comfortable with slower growth, especially if it helped China evolve into the kind of consumer society that America is today. That's why the Chinese were comfortable letting its currency slowly appreciate, making its exports more expensive for the world to buy. But today's depreciation is basically an admission that China is not ready to wean itself off that export-driven growth. There are winners and losers here in the United States in the wake of this move. American consumers benefit because Chinese imports are now going to be 2% cheaper. But for people in China, U.S. products and services are now more expensive. That hurts the bottom line of the companies on this side of the Pacific who are trying to export either goods or services to China. And the stock market tumble, obviously, not good for the half of Americans who are invested in the stock market. We're going to be watching this very closely for more developments. Tony? I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.